Good afternoon, friends. Top economists have said that inflation is cooling in the United States, but prices for everything continues to remain very high. With gas and energy prices rising to these new highs, many Americans are urging for our government to approve at least one more round of stimulus checks. Lawmakers in numerous states are taking action right now to address this issue. My dearest friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video to hear about all of the details. Also, every Friday, I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. Please make sure that you enter the giveaway by clicking and liking several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, friends, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. Their goal is to hinder fossil fuel production on federal lands and in federal waters by any and every means necessary. And they're doing quite a job of it. Um, in, in tandem with the climate provisions of the Orwellian named Inflation Reduction Act, which Congressional Democrats passed last summer. New regulations are coming out of the Department of Interior, the EPA, CEQ, and even agencies like the Securities Exchange Commission of chilled capital investment of oil, gas, and coal production. This at a particularly inopportune time. You know, the, the Democrats' war on fossil fuels has only added more risk, more uncertainty, more suffering um, uh, to this process and, and to the countless permitting obstacles that energy projects were already facing. Um, and this is contributing to a situation in which energy prices and inflation um, are making Americans even poorer uh, at the same time when they're suffering from the rampant inflation that we have faced over the last two and a half years because of excessive federal spending and excessive federal regulatory intervention. Instead of allowing American operators to produce domestically, the Biden administration has done everything that it possibly can to slow domestic oil and gas production to try to appease the radical fringe elements of the environmental lobby while groveling to Venezuela and Saudi Arabia for more oil supply to try to bring down prices for a moment for short-term political gain. This strategy makes absolutely no sense. We've got boundless domestic oil and gas reserves that are far better, environmentally speaking, and far better for Americans, economically speaking. Substantive regulatory and permitting reform is indeed long overdue. And so I'm glad we're having this conversation today and I thank the chairman for convening the hearing. Even though many economists have been saying that inflation is cooling, it sure doesn't feel like anything is getting cheaper. And according to Yahoo News, that's because most things are not. Inflation is expressed as a rate of change. And it's true that prices are in fact growing at a slower rate and that is known as disinflation. To the average American, their experience is that everything is more expensive than it used to be, and that will not change until there's outright deflation. While the Consumer Price Index captures the headline rate of inflation, the Bureau of Labor Statistics also publishes a separate report of average price data that reflects what Americans are actually paying. It largely only covers food and drink categories, while the CPI shows inflation rates on a variety of goods and services across the economy. Basic items like ground beef and potato chips now cost dollars more on average than they did before the crisis. Gasoline prices are rising again, and the cost of electricity and a variety of other everyday essentials remain very elevated. The latest CPI reading which is due this Thursday, is forecasted to show the consumer prices grew 3.3% in July from one year ago. That is up slightly from the prior month, but still near the slowest pace in two years. 
the inflation rate peaked at 9.1% last June, which was the highest in four decades. Grocery prices have fallen in three of the last four months, but hardly enough to make a dent after two years of continuous increases. Since February 2020, when the crisis began, the cost of food at home is up more than 23%. The problem is wages largely have not kept up. Earnings growth only just started to outpace inflation in recent months. But before then, Americans had effectively experienced two years of declining purchasing power. Inflation has also been an obstacle during Joe Biden's presidency. His approval rating has consistently stayed below 50% in the past two years since price pressures ramped up, while his economic policies may help the U.S. avert a recession. The budget deficit is ballooning. Easing inflation also doesn't take away from all that Americans have sacrificed to adjust to a higher cost of living. We have largely been relying more on credit cards and saving less, which has pushed up delinquency rates. According to the Montana Department of Revenue, the state is already issuing individual income tax rebates. The rebate amount depends on a Montana taxpayer's 2021 filing status and the amount of taxes paid that year. If the taxpayer's filing status was single, head of household, or married filing separately, the rebate will be about $1,250. Rebates for taxpayers married filing joint returns will be $2,500. Lawmakers in New Mexico have promised another round of tax rebates for 2023, and many of the rebates have already been sent out. Single tax filers will receive $500. Married couples, heads of households, and surviving spouses will receive $1,000. These rebates are tied to tax filings from 2021. So in order to qualify for the rebates this year, you will need to file a New Mexico personal income tax return for 2021. The deadline to do that in order to receive a 2023 rebate is May 31st, 2024. But if you've already filed a 2021 return, you do not need to worry about that deadline. You may need to make sure that your address is up to date with the Taxation and Revenue Department. The Taxation and Revenue Department says there are about 15,000 rebates from last year that were marked as undeliverable, often due to address issues. So if you think you should have received a rebate check last year, but never saw one, that may be the reason why. Well, my greatest and most beautiful friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Tuesday. My dearest friends, thank you so much for joining me here and for being part of this community. To say thank you and to show my appreciation, I will be announcing several winners every Friday for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter the weekly giveaway, friends, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you watch and then comment on, friends, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. Thank you and have a wonderful